Hi YouTube, I'm going to do a problem from Single Variable Calculus by James Stewart. Um, this problem is from section 7.1, Inverse Functions, number 35. The problem gives you the function 9 minus x squared, where x is greater than or equal to 0, and where x is less than or equal to 3, and a equals 8. So part a says show f is 1 to 1. We show f is 1 to 1 by taking the graph of the function 9 minus x squared. And we're only going to focus on the positive side of the x-axis because x is um, greater than or equal to 0 and x is less than or equal to 3. So from here, we go down. It's a negative parabola. And by using the horizontal line test, we can see that there are no horizontal lines that intersect the graph more than once. This means f is 1 to 1. Part b says use theorem 7 to find the derivative of the inverse a. So we are going to start off by taking the inverse of the function 9 minus x squared. So to take the inverse of the function, you switch x and y and you solve for y. So let's do that right now. So right here is our inverse, okay? And so we're gonna take this part of the equation first. So we found the inverse, now let's plug in our a, which is eight, and we're going to get three minus square root eight, okay? So this is our first part. And now let's take the derivative of the function, okay? So the derivative of the function is just negative 2x. Okay, so now we're going to plug this part that we found right here into the derivative. So we're going to do that. Negative 2 times 3 minus square root 8. All right. So once we have this, okay, we can solve and ultimately our we're going to solve put this back in the equation, and ultimately our answer will be negative one half. Okay. Okay. So now moving on to part C. Okay. Part C says, calculate the inverse of x and state the domain and range. So, the inverse of x is simply 9 minus x. And we found this earlier in um, part b by switching the x and the y of the function 9 minus x squared and solving for y. This is what we got. Now, the domain. is 0, 9, and the range is 0, 3. Okay? Now, part D says, calculate the derivative of the inverse A from the formula in part C, which is right here, and check it that it agrees with the result from part B. So, Looking back at part b, right here, we see that 3 minus root x is the same thing as the square root of 9 minus x. Therefore, if we were to calculate um, the derivative of the inverse a with this right here, with the square root of 9 minus x, it'll be the same thing as calculating the derivative of the inverse a with 3 minus root x. So therefore, the both the answers agree with each other, so this 
the degrees. So E says, sketch the graphs of F and the inverse of F on the same axis. So we're going to make a graph. Okay. So here's 3 and here's 9. This is the graph of the function. Okay, right here. And the inverse, the graph of the inverse, it's not completely accurate, but that's what the graph of the inverse looks like. Okay, and we're all done. Thanks.